Natural disasters, pandemics, nuclear wars, asteroid impacts. However it happens, it's the end of the world as we know it. Notable directors like George Miller, James Cameron, Michael Bay, and Roland Emmerich have crafted narratives of impending doom that resonate with audiences seeking hope amid bleak scenarios. The following list of the top 10 end of the world movies delves beyond blockbuster disaster tales, including films that authentically capture the fears of nuclear holocaust and climate change. Number 10, Dawn of the Dead from 1978. Romero's zombie apocalyptic movies are especially known for their social commentary. While Night of the Living Dead offered a critique of race relations in 1960s America, Dawn of the Dead zeroes in on the mindless, consumerist culture. The film opens with a news broadcast of human civilization crumbling worldwide. A group of disparate individuals seek safety in an indoor mall. Since the place contains everything from food, clothing, to weapons, they think it's the perfect place to spend the apocalypse. However, the undead, driven by some impulse, keep strolling in the mall's corridors. Apart from the satirical layers, Dawn of the Dead features a thrilling story, strengthened further by wacky visual and makeup effects. Number 9, Shaun of the Dead from 2004. Emotionally stunted best friends Sean, Simon Pegg, and Ed, Nick Frost, have a simple plan to face the apocalypse. They decide to visit and gather their loved ones, go to the pub for a nice cold pint, and wait for everything to blow over. Naturally, Sean and Ed's fun plan to encounter the zombie apocalypse has too many loopholes to work out. However, the buddies learn a few things about growing up, forgiveness, and the power of friendship. The premise of Shaun of the Dead is deliberately silly. Only the end of the world pushes our titular character to own up to his faults and make amends. The film celebrates, as well as mocks, the zombie apocalypse story tropes. Besides, Edgar Wright's clever audiovisual tricks makes it a fun watch. Number 8, The Last Wave from 1977. The Last Wave was made by Australian filmmaker Peter Weir, director of Dead Poet Society and The Truman Show. This strange and intense apocalypse doesn't rely on set pieces or special effects to convey the impending sense of doom. The film revolves around corporate tax lawyer David Burton, who lives in Sydney with his family. He accidentally represents a group of Indigenous Australians accused of murder. One of the alleged murderers, Chris Lee, David Gulpilil, is plagued with apocalyptic visions that signal the end of the world through a massive flood. In fact, the tribal rituals and belief in the violent hailstorm become central to the case. The Last Wave is an enigmatic drama that doesn't conform to any genre conventions. Our contemporary climate concerns only lend the film subtext more weight. Number 7, Children of Men from 2006. Alfonso Cuaron's Children of Men offers a unique take on world-ending movies. The film is set in 2027 and depicts a world where no children have been born for almost two decades due to worldwide infertility. As a result, human civilization is gradually collapsing. In such a hopeless world, Theo, Clive Owen, an ex-activist and world-weary bureaucrat, makes a hopeful journey. He takes up the duty of safely transporting a migrant woman named Key, Claire Hope Ashete, who is miraculously pregnant. The mission, though, proves to be very dangerous, transforming Theo from being cynical to an altruistic individual. What's so memorable and haunting about this speculative sci-fi is Alfonso Cuaron's gritty and engrossing mise-en-scene. Number 6, Dead Man's Letters from 1986. Russian filmmaker and Andrei Tarkovsky's protege, Konstantin Lupashensky, gives us a highly ambitious nuclear holocaust drama. The film is a profound exploration of the human condition in a world filled with despair. What's most striking is the enchanting visualization of sepia-toned ugliness in the post-nuclear war human society. The story revolves around an elderly professor, Roland Bikov, who lives in a museum's bunker with his wife and a few other survivors. In his mind, the professor writes letters to his lost son, Eric, where he reflects on humanity's unconditional ability to love, as well as their outsized ambition to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. Number 5, Wall-E from 2008. In Andrew Stanton's Pixar animated masterpiece, environmental disasters caused by humans have led to the end of the world. A little waste-collecting robot seems to be the only inhabitant of this apocalyptic landscape, accompanied by his cockroach friend. One day, a sleek robot named Eve arrives. Her mission is to test whether humans can return to Earth. For centuries, humanity has been confined to a giant spaceship, waiting for the moment when Earth becomes sustainable for life. The discovery made by the two robots in the film determines humanity's fate. Despite its light-hearted and whimsical tone, Wally -E depicts a dystopian future with disturbing parallels to our present. The animation brilliantly portrays humanity's increasing dependence on technology and detachment from their fellow human beings. Number 4, Threads from 1984. Several movies have depicted the realistic effects of a nuclear holocaust, 
but nothing comes close to Mick Jackson's deeply unsettling threads. Barry Hines' complex script offers both macro and micro perspectives of the aftermath of a war. Threads is set around the working class community of Sheffield, England. It unfolds against the backdrop of the Iran crisis, which escalates the threat of nuclear war between America and the Soviet Union. We follow several ordinary people who are ruthlessly pushed into a bleak scenario following the detonation of nuclear bombs around Britain. The film portrays the horrors of the circumstances in a visceral, matter-of-fact manner. It provides a close look at the slow breakdown of society once its infrastructure and chain of command are destroyed. The final third of the narrative is particularly bleak. Number 3, Night of the Living Dead from 1968. George A. Romero is widely recognized as the father of the modern zombie subgenre in film, portraying zombies as being robbed of agency and autonomy due to an infection. The only driving force behind these undead creatures is their insatiable hunger for human flesh. Night of the Living Dead, an independent horror shot in stark black and white, brings together a group of different-minded individuals trying to survive an impending undead apocalypse. They barricade themselves in an old farmhouse as flesh-eating zombies prowl outside to try to get in. Romero's film was made during the Civil Rights Movement era. It offers ample socio-political commentary, and the ending is particularly shocking. Number 2. The Sacrifice from 1986 The final film from Russian auteur Andrei Tarkovsky profoundly captures the tragedy and beauty of the human condition. The Sacrifice was made amid the Cold War tensions. Set in an isolated farmhouse, the film tells the story of critic and former stage actor Alexandra, Erland Josephson, who lives with his wife, stepdaughter, and little son. The family has gathered to celebrate Alexander's birthday, while the middle-aged man deeply reflects on his life's accomplishments. Soon, there are reports of impending nuclear war, and Third World War seems imminent. What follows is a complex philosophical journey as Alexander ponders over a way to undo the man-made disaster. The Sacrifice is a majestic work of art that doesn't follow any of the cinematic apocalypse scenarios. Tarkovsky's intention was to make a timeless parable on the themes of existentialism, faith, and self-sacrifice. He not only succeeds in his quest, but also gives us a masterpiece. Number 1. Dr. Strangelove from 1964 Now, can you possibly make a hilarious satire out of war? Director Stanley Kubrick and actor Peter Sellers did it, and masterly so. Inspired by Peter George's 1958 novel Red Alert, Dr. Strangelove's bizarre premise opens with the US Air Force Brigadier's insane action. General Jack D. Ripper, Sterling Hayden, steals off the Air Force base and deploys his B-52 bombers to attack the Soviet Union. In the Pentagon War Room, the American President and the pompous generals race against time to prevent a massive retaliatory attack from the Soviet Union. The preposterous conflicts in the power corridors and wacky political deadlocks make the nuclear holocaust an inevitable conclusion. The legendary Peter Sellers plays three roles in the narrative, including a wheelchair-bound ex-Nazi scientist. Dr. Strangelove has one of the most memorable movie endings of all time, as a major is seen riding a nuclear bomb. For our complete list of the 25 ultimate end-of-the-world movies, check out the link in the description below. What are your favourite films on the list? Let's talk in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Flickside for more great film content.